What's up, everybody? D here, and I'm doing my very first Call of Duty commentary. This game was recorded back right around when uh, Modern Warfare 3 first released. Um, I'd say about like my second, third day plan. Um, it's a 31 and 9 game playing team deathmatch, and yeah, a really shitty start there. But let's not discuss the gameplay because I'm pretty sure everyone knows how to play Call of Duty at this point. Um, what I want to talk about right now is, uh, what do I want to talk about? I had a good idea of something to talk about during this commentary, but it completely slipped my mind because, yeah, I don't know. I, I, I suppose I should have thought this more <laughs> thoroughly, thought this through better, whatever. But I guess I could just talk about, um, a funny moment in my life or something. Yeah, that's what I do. All right, um, I got I got a perfect story. All right, I moved to Indianapolis um, for the first time about almost six years ago. All right, moving my mic closer to my mouth. But yeah, about six years ago, I had first moved to Indianapolis, and I was staying with my friend in their apartment, sleeping in the living room. I got a job relatively quick, and I started saving up. Went and found an apartment like. I say two, three weeks after I moved in, and I moved out. I say a little bit over two months after I moved in. All right, I get into my apartment, and as soon as I, as soon as I move in, like the first day I moved in, like something seemed off there. You know, I wasn't quite sure what to make of it, but I was like, eh, whatever. So. My first night from work, I get home, and I go upstairs, and it's like, you know, I'm trying to figure out what time it was. It, it was like 9 or 10 in the morning, because I was doing third shifts then, and I come upstairs to my door, unlock the door, and then this kind of heavy set guy behind me, you know, he's, excuse me, do you have a phone? And I'm just like, yeah, you sound kind of flamboyant, whatever. And I'm like, um, yeah, sure, whatever. Well, he he's all freaking out and everything. He's like, thank you. I need to find, I need to call someone. And I'm just like, okay, whatever, dude. You don't need to explain to me. If you need to use a phone, just use it. But, you know, he goes downstairs and uses his phone. And then he uses the phone. And I'm just like, well, I hope you hurry up and comes back with it. Because I, I kind of want to go to sleep. <laughs> but, you know, he comes back and he's all... Yeah, I'm sorry about that. Uh, my boyfriend just disappeared on me again, and I'm just like, all right, so you're gay. And, you know, at this point, I never really had interaction with gay people outside my own family. And there was only, like, a handful of gay folks in my family to begin with. And I, I'm, I'm kind of like, well, I'm not bursting into flames right now or breaking out in hives. Because, you know, I'm 19 at the time, so I kind of got this little ignorant, um... <laughs> assumption in my head that you know all gay guys are these flirty lusty whores or whatever but you know he turns out to be a pretty nice guy pretty cool too but his boyfriend apparently was cheating on him with a girl and <laughs> I'm not making this up the girl was about the same size as his boyfriend she was a pretty pretty husky girl and <laughs> Uh, I'm not making this up, people. And, you know, being a husky woman as she was, she was kind of like a, a bit of a bully around there. And, you know, her... So, so, like, she would bully her way into the apartment down there. You know, she'd tell the gay dude, you know... I don't remember their names at this point. It's been so long. And, like, they only stayed there about, like, a month or two after I moved in. But, um... Apparently, you know, she came she came over there one day and she was sick of not seeing her her boyfriend or whatever you want to call him to her. And she told his boyfriend to let her in there. And he said no. And she pushed the door open in on him and told him, I'll beat your I'll beat your ass if you don't let me up in here to see my fucking man. And and this is the story he told me. He's like, I'm just so scared of her that I, I'm scared to put her out my house. I'm like, oh, okay then, dude. I mean, I mean, you're a grown ass man, and you're letting a chubby chick bully you. But 
And, you know, that's not my problem. But, but anyway, you know, <clears throat> she comes in there and she just hangs out over there all the time. And, like, I used to get off of work and some night, like one night, Friday, I got, like, well, it was Saturday morning, actually. So I wake up, I mean, I wake up sat Saturday afternoon. And I'm like, well, you know, I'm off for the weekend. And the dude's boyfriend comes up the stairs and he's like, can I use your phone? And I'm just like, yeah, whatever. He comes and he uses the phone for a bit. And he comes to me and he's all like, hey, dude, I got some uh, schnapps downstairs. You want to drink some? And I'm just like, well, I am 19 and living along. So I'm a bit of a raging alcoholic now. <laughs> And he brings, like, brings it up there, and then, like, I kind of noticed that he was a bit awkward around me. And I was like, oh, don't tell me. And, it, uh, yeah, of course, dude was flirting with me, but you know, I didn't figure this out till a while, a good bit later when his friend, when I seen his then ex-boyfriend, he was talking about, yeah, he's a whore, he'll sleep with anyone. And I'm just like, great, he could have drugged me and raped me or something. <laughs> But, you know, he brings the schnapps up there, and I, I, I drink it, and I'm like, all right, dude, I'm going back to sleep. And, you know, he's like, all right, well, well okay, uh, you should hang out with us later. I'm just like, yeah, okay. Well, fast forward a week or two, and, like, the dude, the big one, he catches him sleeping with the girl who pushes her way in the house, and he kicks her out, and then after he kicks her out, he starts like arguing with his boyfriend. I look out my um, patio window and I look downstairs and I see him like beating him with drumsticks. I'm not making this up, people. He's beating his little boyfriend with drumsticks and a dude has knots all over his forehead and stuff. And it, it was just a fucking mess. But um, I think this commentary is coming to a close. I'm glad you all were here for my very first commentary. And I love you all. And. I have another funny story for you guys sometime later this week when I record this Black Ops gameplay I have. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to rate and subscribe. Bye.